the heart of the cities where the lights shine bright. There was a place where dreams took flight. The prom ballroom with its grand facade. Midway between Minneapolis and St. Paul it tried. From the 1940s to the 70s it ruled the scene. With its dance floors gleaming, its walls pristine. Legends were born under its neon glow in every step, in every show. The prom ballroom where memories bloom in Minnesota's heart it found its room. With music's pulse it danced along, but now it's just a faded song. From big bands to rock and roll, the prom welcomed all. With an open soul, names like Benny Goodman and Buddy Holly, their echoes lingered in the prom's folly. In the swinging mid-60s, the prom ballroom was where the party ignited every weekend. Fridays saw the stage ignite with the raw energy of rock bands, while Saturdays indulged in a showdown between the gritty allure of rock and the smooth vibes of big bands. Picture this, February 27, 1965, the legendary Trashmen stormed the stage, sending shockwaves through the crowd with their electrifying performance. Fast forward to March 24, 1965, and Count Basie himself graced the prom with his legendary presence, leaving the audience in awe. Come June 18, 1965, the prom witnessed the mysterious allure of the Whiskey A Go-Go show, adding a touch of mystique to the dance floor. And who could forget July 21, 1965, when the Everly Brothers brought their timeless harmonies to the prom, captivating hearts and souls. But the real magic happened on August 11, 1965, when D.D. Sharp and Dick and D.D. took center stage, backed by the eclectic Days and Nights, a night where music transcended boundaries, with a crowd so intimate, it felt like a private affair. As summer waned, the prom kept the heat alive with the Strange Loves and the McCoys on August 25, 1965, a night filled with rock and roll fervor. And as the year rolled on, the prom continued to be the heartbeat of the Twin Cities, hosting iconic acts like Billy Joe Royal and the Sir Douglas Quintet. 1966 brought a new wave of excitement, with big band sensations Harry James and Stan Kenton gracing the stage in June promising a night of sophistication and swing. November 2nd, 1966, marked the arrival of The Circle, setting the stage ablaze with their infectious grooves. And as the year drew to a close, the Flippers ushered in the new year at the prom on December 30th, 1966, joined by local heroes, the Marauders. In 1967, the prom witnessed a whirlwind of performances, from the timeless melodies of the Turtles to the infectious beats of Tommy James and the Shondells. But it was the return of the Turtles on August 16, 1967, that stole the show, proving that lightning can strike twice. October 6, 1967, saw the return of the Everly Brothers, accompanied by the soulful sounds of the mob and the vibrant energy of the Twin Cities' own system. 1968 and 1969 brought their own share of magic to the prom, with John Fred and his Playboy band lighting up the stage in March 1968 and jazz icon Woody Herman serenading the crowd on February 5, 1969. I know this list is incomplete, but I remember seeing Question Mark and The Mysterians, and also Time Won't Let Me's, The Outsiders there during that time frame, and I spent many nights dancing away to the fantastic sounds of the Dell Counts, the Mystics, the Still Roven, and many other fabulous local bands of that era. I'm sure many of you remember even more, and you can post them in the comment section below. Goodness gracious, they even had the birds performing when they were topping the charts. Through the years, the prom ballroom remained a beacon of musical brilliance, where every note echoed with the spirit of a generation. It's such a shame that it was not preserved. But the memories are still alive, and we are doing our best to preserve them on video for you and all future generations. What a place. Now the
constant silence in its rage.